long time ago, the Bodhisattva was reborn as a king's advisor. However, this king was very talkative, and when he talked, no one else could get a word in. This caused frustration in the king's court. The only problem was that the king didn't even notice what he was doing. The advisor wished to put a stop to this, and waited for the best opportunity. One day, there was a loud uproar in the palace. People were yelling and screaming in confusion. Apparently, a turtle had fallen out of the sky, cracked his shell, and died. This was highly peculiar since they lived in the mountains where there were no turtles. And most importantly, turtles can't fly. The king was curious and asked his advisor, Wise sir, what made this creature fall in such a manner? The advisor realized that this was an ideal opportunity to teach the king what he had patiently been waiting to teach. The advisor then began his story. My dear king, I assume that the turtle lived as turtles do, down by the water. Now, most likely, some geese befriended him during the last season. When the season changed, the geese would have to return to their home in the mountains above us. The geese told the turtle about their home in the mountains. Not wanting to part with their newfound friend, the geese invited the turtle to join them. The turtle asked, How can I, a turtle, fly to the mountains? The geese responded, We have a method, but it will only work if you're able to give us your word and follow through no matter what. If not, the consequences will be dire. The turtle said, I can do it. I know I can. Tell me your plan, my friends. So the geese told the turtle their plan. They would each grab a sturdy stick on each end and the turtle would bite down on the middle of the stick. Then they would fly off carrying the turtle with them. However, the turtle must not open his mouth, or he would fall to his death. As they were flying by the palace, some children saw them, and pointing out in jest, they laughed and said, Look at that silly turtle, he thinks he's a bird. What a fool, he can't fly. He's just hanging on a stick. And with that, the turtle got angry. He wanted to cry out and say, You rascals, mind your own business. If my friends carry me to their home in the mountains, what's it to you? How dare you talk about things you don't even know? After his anger reached its peak, the turtle forgot what he was doing and opened his mouth to teach those kids a lesson. However, the lesson was his. He lost his grip and fell to his death. And that is how the turtle fell to his death and landed in our courtyard, which caused the commotion we see here now. The advisor concluded by saying, Even though he was biting a stick, he felt the need to speak. Unable to control himself, he spoke and fell beneath. And now, O oh mighty king, may you mark it well. See that you speak wisely, see that you speak in season. To death the turtle fell, he talked too much, that was the reason. The king internalized this lesson and resolved to be much more careful in his speech. What do you think the moral of this story is? We hope you enjoyed the video. Click like if you did, and click subscribe if you want to see our uploads.